Now, throughout human history, the question of whether alien life exists beyond our planet has captivated the imaginations of scientists, philosophers, dreamers, citizens. Let's leave aside UFOs and UFO sightings for a moment, viewer. Because while definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life remains elusive, scientific discoveries over a century and statistical analysis strongly suggest that the existence of life beyond Earth is not only plausible, but statistically almost definite, almost 100%. Let me walk you through some compelling reasons why the existence of alien life forms is massively supported just by what we know so far. For starters, just the sheer vastness of the universe, the observable universe, is an incomprehensibly vast expanse containing up to, listen carefully to this number, 200 billion galaxies with at least 200 billion trillion stars. That's right, 200 billion trillion stars. To think in this colossal expanse of space that we are the only life is not only philosophical hubris, but scientifically and statistically nearly impossible. Now, given the vast number of potentially habitable planets, statistically speaking, it becomes increasingly improbable that Earth is the only planet to harbor life. But then we have something called the Fermi Paradox, which is the discrepancy between the apparently high likelihood of advanced extraterrestrial life versus the total lack, so far, of any conclusive evidence of it. But bear with me as we go a little deeper into the evidence we have, pointing to the tantalizing near certainty that we are not alone. Let's talk about exoplanet discoveries. Over the past few decades, advancements in observational techniques have allowed astronomers to detect and confirm the existence of thousands of exoplanets. NASA has a database of 5,338 confirmed exoplanets in 4,001 confirmed planetary systems and nearly 10,000, 9,432 exoplanet candidates waiting to be confirmed. Now many of these exoplanets orbit within their star's habitable zone where conditions could support the existence of liquid water which as you know is a key ingredient for life as we know it. So immediately this increasing number of exoplanet discoveries further strengthens the statistical case for alien life. Second, as our understanding of planetary formation improves, we have come to appreciate that the concept of a habitable zone, very much like our Earth, is not unique to our solar system. A habitable zone refers to the region around a star where conditions are conducive to the presence of liquid water. Now, the discovery of exoplanets within these habitable zones indicates that these regions are not rare occurrences, increasing, once again, the statistical likelihood of life-supporting environments beyond Earth. Third, the existence of what are called extremophiles on Earth. You probably know that life on Earth has shown remarkable adaptability, with organisms thriving in super-extreme environments. Earth has organisms that can survive in extreme heat like volcanoes, extreme cold like the Arctic, acidity like the bottom of the ocean, or high pressure environments, suggesting that life may exist in similar extreme environments elsewhere in the universe. We don't have to think of it just in terms of the salubrious environs of what we see on Earth. Now, these discoveries imply that life might not be limited to Earth-like conditions, expanding the potential habitats for extraterrestrial life. Fourth, the detection of organic molecules such as amino acids in various astronomical bodies and within meteorites suggest that the building blocks of life are widespread throughout the observable universe. These molecules have been found in regions as diverse as interstellar clouds and comets, the presence of organic carbon molecules hugely strengthens the statistical case for the existence of life beyond Earth because these, viewer, are the building blocks of life. And if they exist everywhere in the known universe, then that increases the possibility of life. Finally, something called panspermia. Let me explain what that is. Panspermia is the hypothesis that life could have originated on one planet and spread to others either through natural processes or via technological means. Now, if panspermia is a valid mechanism, then the chances of life existing elsewhere in the universe 
increases exponentially. Microbes, bacteria could survive the journey through space within asteroids, comets and other interstellar vehicles, increasing the probability of life's dissemination throughout this beautiful cosmos. Now this picture I've hopefully painted here is that there are enormously compelling reasons to believe that alien life exists, whether or not all those allegations of a UFO in the US are true or not. But then, as the Fermi paradox so frustratingly articulates, why haven't we come across any substantial direct evidence of it? So the next time you hear about UFO sightings, remember that from time immemorial, we as humans have sat on the cusp of that most fundamental question of all. But honestly, which is more terrifying, that we are not alone or that we are?